rifle. Um, normally you would use powder horn to uh, measure out your powder in the pan. And then you'd have a measure here. I don't have any of this with me because I'm in musket mode. But um, you take a, a horn measure that you would, because you do not want to pour straight from the, like Hollywood, straight from the powder. Because if there's a spark in there and it goes off, then you're holding basically a stick of dynamite in your hand. So they'd measure it into a little cup, pour it down. They take a ball that they had in the bullet pouch and a patch, and then they take a little grease out of something like this. Grease the patch, place the patch over there, put the ball on top. Then they'd have a starter, which like, looks like a, uh, a little hammer. And they'd uh, put it there, hammer that down, draw the ramrod, and then ram it home. Turn the ramrod and you're set to go. Now, unfortunately though, this uh, took quite a bit lo longer than a musket. Uh, you couldn't just dump your ball and powder down there. And after it began to get fouled up, it could take up to two, two and a half minutes for you to load and fire one shot whereas the musket man could do it 15 to 20 seconds. So uh, the disadvantages of this in a fast moving battle uh, were very, very much accidented once uh, the enemy started moving around. Yeah. Let's see if this goes off today. move back a little bit. You didn't ask me. I said I'm 16 and 2 seconds. I thought she was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like today that's been raining, uh, still, still the guns are fairly reliable. Uh, on a day like today, we expect that at least half of them will probably go off still. And even in, even in total downpours, some guns will continue to fire. SBD, Sergeant. All right, the musket uses the same. It's a, a little bit heavier duty lock. It's a musket lock. It's not uh, uh, the rifle lock. It's sometimes a little bit more refined. This is a, they weren't mass produced. They were produced in shops. But nonetheless, it works the same way. I'm going to come up. They'll tell you to prime and load. Today we wouldn't do this. It's just it's dangerous. But we're not back in there. Prime first. You can cast about. Load, push the ball in. Remember, push powder. When the ramrod to come out, you run the ball down there. I think they probably leave the, leave that paper on there. You come back, show your officers you're ready like this. Take the shoulder arm, shoulder arm. Uh, prepare to fire. Spin the gun around like that. We'll do it this way. That's just a little bit, uh, I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> this, this is the 50% that didn't go off. <laughs> that, that folks known as a flash in the pan. If you've ever heard that expression, that's where it comes from. So the powder in the pan flashed, but the main charge didn't go off. If this doesn't work this way, I'm, I'm going to run away. <laughs> <laughs> another, another important uh, use for uh, the bayonet is uh, a lot of times you would have a battle in, in hot, humid weather or weather just like today where we're catching some rain. Uh, the bayonet doesn't have to rely upon dry powder to still be useful. And you would find that on days where a lot of times when rain would stop the guns from firing, that's when one or the other side to choose to go to the bayonet and try to drive drive home a victory.